one of the main things that I like to do is deal with masking. Uh, this is again why we play the vocals along with what the music is doing. Because we have to figure out, uh, in this main bed, which happens to be this, We'll notice that we need to brighten up the sample a little, but we have to make sure that the vocals still sit inside of the music. So if I play this all together. Watch, turn a dollar in a dream to a mansion in a million. We was trapping in the buildings, giving back to the children. Our vocals are nice and sitting on top of the beat, but as I brighten this, this can start to conflict with some of those frequencies. So what I want to do first is find those frequencies that I want to take out of the sample. At the same time that I'm enhancing some frequencies, I'm going to be taking some out to make room for the vocals. So if we look at this vocal. Turn a dollar in a dream to a mansion in a million. We was trapping in the buildings, giving back to the children. You can see that our main area is right about here. That right under that 2K, right above this 1K, all the way up to here to this 5K is going to be the concentration of what we need to get taken out of the sample. But we also need to brighten it so that's where the biggest thing that we can do with this F6 is mid-side EQing. Brightening up the sides allows us in the center to keep the vocal where it is, but also give some life to the sample. So if you look at this EQ, what I did here, if we solo this, solo the sample, If you look at this frequency here, I'm going at about 8,000, but this is completely here on the side. On this F6, you can change between stereo, mid, and side. So right now, I'm just brightening the side. It's giving us some of that sizzle that we want without being harsh. We went down to about 3.7K. And again, it's just to brighten up, but it's not to take away from where the vocals are gonna be. So again, we're just brightening up the side. Now this frequency gives us a little bit of fullness on the side, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this frequency in the middle. If we look at about 1.4, 1.5, I'm using this strictly for the mids, strictly for what's underneath of the vocal. In a million, we was trapping in the buildings, giving back to the children. Had to run the music up and run the bag up. It's very subtle, but you can notice that when I put in that particular frequency, it dips and allows the vocal to sit more on top of the sample and be wrapped by the sample versus turning the vocal up. Turn a dollar in a dream to a mansion in a million. We was trapping in the buildings, giving back to the children. Now I want plaques, me and black, Sam matching made backs, black on black, double up, back to back. Sold out dates in NY, that's a fact. Casanova in the cut. Day now, as I hit bypass, you can hear it. We lose that frequency and we also get cluttered with the vocal. So again, by pulling out the middle frequencies and highlighting the frequencies on the side, we allow our vocal to sit a little bit better. Turn a dollar in a dream to a mansion in a million. We was trapping in the buildings, giving back. Had to run the music up and run the bag up. And I also want to check this against Dave East's vocal so that we're not just doing it just for Jay Stone. Frozen wrist, I met Stone with net. We sold it quick. Couple hoes to hit. Bitch, this rolling crib. Running marathons, laughing before they noticed it. Hustle told us, watch who you be smoking with. That sounds good for me with the sample. And let's listen to the whole thing overall. A dollar in a dream to a mansion in a million. We was trapping in the buildings, giving back to the now one plaques. Me and black Sam matching made backs, black on black double. So that's just a quick example to show you what masking is about. You know, all of these frequencies have to sit in the same frequency ranges. A lot of times it's sort of easier for us to get our bass and our very high frequency together, but because everything resides in the mid range, that's where you're gonna have to do most of the work. Most of the dipping of where you're gonna make decisions inside of your main music bed so that the vocals can sit is gonna be in that upper mid range. Uh, I would probably say anywhere from about the 1K to about the 5K range is gonna be the real concentration of frequencies. But hopefully you can hear this, this slight difference 
when we're bypassing. A dollar in a dream to imagine in a million we was trapping in the builders giving back to the children. You can almost hear the clarity just pop out in the mix just by dipping some frequencies. So now that we've adjusted the sample, we can go back and we can listen to the lead vocals again. And I would like to do a before and after just so you can hear the difference of what we completely did. This is always great to go back and check your work just because of the simple fact that you can get lost in the mix. You've been working for a couple of minutes. You've been listening to some different things and you want to make sure that you didn't overdo it. Turn a dollar in a dream to a mansion in a million. We was trapping in the buildings, giving back to the children. And let's do the same thing for Davies. Graduated to a frozen wrist. I met Stone with Net. We sold it quick. Couple hoes to hit. Bitch, this rolling crip. Running marathon. I took a couple losses, then got over it. Trail to six up. Oh. We pull up, let a clip go. And let's also see what that seems like uh, with the sample in and out from the EQ that we've done. Graduated to a frozen wrist. I met Stone with Net. We sold it quick. Couple hoes to hit. Bitch, this rolling crip. Running marathons. And that's something you can notice as well that we're not changing the EQ. But it seems that when we brighten up the sample, everything gets brighter and it actually brightens up our vocal. The effect of what we hear uh, is brightening up our vocal without us having to add extra stress. Here where I come from, we self-made, come from nothing. 